Hey, what's up everybody? We're here with Toronto's best personal trainer, Eves, from 3D Fitness. That's correct. I actually wanted to interview Eves for a long time because I've been watching his stories on Instagram and I've been following him for quite some time. And what really impresses me is his clients before and after photos that really can't be denied. They are just completely stunning how much change in such a short time. Every time I see your clients post, it's like a month ago and today. <laughs> and I'm like, are you serious? You did this in a month or, or two months? It really is such a short time that your success rate is, is just visible on the not just temporary but for the long term so tell me about your business and how did you start and when I uh, started training in 2010 I would say and prior to that I was actually a loans and mortgage advisor oh wow so I was working in the office right at King and Bay wearing dress shirts ties and people I didn't know that <laughs> yeah, so people respected me based on my appearance but it wasn't really something for me because um, I did not like the excess stress that it came with. So in uh -huh. 2010, I decided to actually quit that job and become a trainer, which paid less, but it was something that spoke more to my heart. Than so you just cut it off. You quit the job and you didn't think, okay, maybe I'll just start training a little bit and I'll just keep my job. I'll do this on the side. You, you just did it. Yeah. like something you don't like an environment you're not forced to stay in there I mean uh, it's always scary for people to detach themselves from certain things but nothing is forever also if you don't like the environment you're in and you're not happy it's better for you to actually part ways and actually find something out there that's actually for you so, so the jump effect it actually really works right like if you're just you just jump yeah and just trust that it will work out for you because you know what you're doing you're you're passionate about exactly. that, that new thing yeah and then you're forced to really yeah, excel, to, to adapt, right? Exactly to the new environment. You don't have that, that you're thing in. to fall back to. Or, exactly. Uh -huh. So it, that's that's exactly what it is. And most people um, are are living in this, uh, I would say, fake security uh, feeling. This nest, this net of having this nine to five kind of thing, where I feel like there's no such thing as security. You you create right. your own security. What is like the most important thing about nutrition you could say that people that work out don't really know about? Uh, we're gonna get into energy balance, you know what I mean? So uh, everything you eat, you consume is basically energy. It's uh, a calorie is energy basically. Uh, there's an output, input based on what you're eating. So uh, if I'm having a cookie and the cookie is about 100 calories and 20 grams of carbs, that's 100 calories I'm intaking into my body and 20 grams of carbs, which will be actually stored as glycogen, which is your number of primary source of uh, energy, right? Wow. So uh, if you don't understand that and you think you can just eat whatever or don't understand nutrition exactly, then we have a big issue when it comes to training because these two things go hand to hand, right? So many times people don't understand that and many trainers don't have that knowledge. And we think of coffee being energy, but <laughs> in general, we don't really think that maintaining a certain balance within the yeah. foods we eat will actually affect how we perform exactly. and our, ba our body performs and our organs perform, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Very important. Yeah, exactly. So we're talking about organs there. Uh, for instance, most people have issues with their kidneys or liver because they don't drink enough water. So in terms of processing food and actually um, getting rid of toxins, when you're talking about detoxing, right? Most people don't drink enough water, so they have issues with their organs actually working to help them detox their body. Mm -hmm. So naturally talking about detoxing is actually drinking more water. So if you think about any detox out there, the number one element of any detox on earth is water. Water. Okay. So you don't need anything special to actually help your organs work for you because the body is a very smart thing. But if you don't actually help it, then you make it harder for things to happen for you. Right. Yeah. And then you could kind of overwork certain organs, right? Uh, yes, if that element is missing, water. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so do you find that a lot of your clients actually don't drink enough water? Uh, most people don't drink enough water. People are very much, I would say, dehydrated. Yeah. On a daily basis. Yeah, they drink coffee, they drink juice, but it's not water. Exactly. How, what kind of a percentage would you say from the new clients actually fall off and just don't come back? Um, let's say I get five new clients. 
three will do good. Out of five, three people will do good. Two won't be doing that well. So based on three doing good, the more you see results, the more you're, you're seeing something happening to you, the more you're actually more in tune and more, uh, what would say, more uh, uh, driven to keep going. You get what I mean? Yes, so, exactly. But now, the reason why these three people are doing good is because they're actually following what I told them to do. Right, because <laughs> you, you are what? strict. Like <laughs> I see that you know, yeah. you'll post something on the Instagram too yeah. that will kind of show them like, oh, this person didn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And I, and I, I just like to funny. be real about it because yeah. I want the other viewers. This is the realest trainer you know, out there. I want, the other kick your ass. <laughs> I want other people out there to actually see that um, it's not just finding a trainer, but actually when you do find a trainer and a good one, you're actually forced to work now. You're actually obligated to act yeah you get what i mean so i think sometimes it's better off to not even engage in having the trainer because you can do whatever you want but now you're you have you're obligated to actually abide and listen to what this person is telling you because they're, they're the one guiding you so if you need guidance in life and you actually pay attention to that guidance and you trust the person you're with you'll be trust. successful yeah you know you know what i mean yeah. so um for these three people that are doing good is because they they put a hundred percent trust into me and they say you know what i'm gonna do exactly what he said to do so i'm gonna do a b c d e and whatever the other one's gonna say ah whatever you know i'll do this and that and based on doing this and that we're not getting actually where we need to get and i've been doing this over and over for years i've worked with different kind of people so i know actually if you're not following and if you're following just by looking at you right yeah literally just <laughs> by looking at anything. you i don't even need to push on the scale i could just look at you and tell you dehydrated i can tell you that uh you you smoked the night before i can tell you that you had alcohol the night before i can tell you that you haven't been drinking water for probably let's say three days So you have a great intuition that connects you you connect with the client Very based much. on your intuition yeah. and and that's what really helps you be more successful with them because a lot of people you know it, it with a lot of trainers it could be like a mcdonald's kind of training right yeah. where um <laughs> the person is just seeing the money coming at the end of this but yeah. the routine takes over yeah. but the intuition is not being used to connect to that being yeah. and see where they're lacking and yeah. what what they need more yeah. of but a lot of people do put up a front i know that uh, with the coaching thing it's really important because for example right now i'm writing a book with um an author mm -hmm. and he was doing um a training like mm -hmm. a three-day training and it, the exact same thing happens where the people come in they want to be guided yeah. to write a book and be able to do it step by step and get his knowledge mm -hmm. and wisdom yeah. but how many people were kind of like well why should I do this mm -hmm. well I don't want to do that part or yeah. maybe I'll skip this yeah. part and yeah. and then he was kind of also yeah. getting frustrated yeah. like you so guys are here then for me to here? tell you how exactly. to do it exactly. yeah. so then why are you here you know what so, I mean but at first there's that resistance, but then later yeah. it, some people they'll kind of ease off, and then that that resistance mm -hmm. will dissipate a bit, yes. and then they'll they'll kind of give in. Yes. So some people do take a little bit longer to yes. give in to oh. someone to tell them what to do, especially yeah. these days where everybody is just such an individual. Yeah. Happens. Everybody thinks uh, they know everything. But, um, and that's the problem with society actually, because people don't want to work together. And I think the more you work with uh, other people, you actually excel yes. better in life, right? So even myself, for instance, when I'm about to compete, I do have a coach. Oh, you compete? You know what I mean? Exactly. So when I do my bodybuilding competitions. Oh, show us, um, show us. <laughs> okay. oh, maybe later I'll, yeah. uh, I'll show yeah. his so, beautiful uh, medals. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. So, Congrats. Uh, <laughs> thanks. So, um, yeah, everybody needs help in life. I mean, I don't think anybody can just exactly. succeed on their own. So. Yeah, all successful yeah. people have a mentor. Yes, yes. For whatever it is, whether yeah. it's a spiritual mentor, yeah. whether it's, you know, a success mentor or physical trainer, yeah, a nutrition exactly. trainer. Yeah. Um, can they come to you just for nutrition training? Yes, I do or? have uh, some people that just uh, want the nutrition part and uh, I can help them with that. Maybe there's people that are saying maybe they're sick or maybe at the moment they can't really move or they're, you yeah. know, so, um, but then anybody can benefit from Well, when we're talking nutrition. about energy balance uh, uh, at first, uh, you don't even need to train to actually lose weight. You need to basically stay in a deficit so when we're talking about a calorie deficit is basically in taking uh, less calories than you consume on a daily basis so uh, with that being said the more you're in a deficit the more actually your body is going to be 
uh, forced to go into your uh, glycogen stores, then more you use your glycogen stores, then more, uh, more uh, your body will be forced now to go into your fat stores, and that's how you lose weight. Mm -hmm. So the glycogen store is the number one source. We get rid of glycogen by being in a deficit. Glycogen. Having, exactly. So anything you okay. eat that turns into glucose gets stored. Even talking about protein, your fiber, um, your carbs, everything will be stored as glycogen. So glucose stored into your body as glycogen. As glycogen exactly, in your body. and that's a store that's going to be depleted. The more you deplete your glycogen store, then the body is forced to go into your fat stores. So once it goes into the fat stores, that's basically how you lose weight. Okay, so that's why most people will have a diet that has no carbs, but that's not the right approach because that's too aggressive. The more you're, you're in a deficit where you have no carbs, the more your leptin level will drop. Your leptin level is basically a chemical that allows you to burn fat. The more leptin level drops down, the harder it is for you actually to lose weight because now you're forcing your body to do something that's not naturally and used to. So we all have a set point weight. Like for, for instance, me, I'm 190, 196, on and off, whatever. My body likes to be at that weight. If I go into a, a crazy deficit, my body's basically going into a shock mode or a security mechanism where it feels like I'm being attacked. Mm -hmm. I'm being sick. Right. So yeah. it actually wants yeah. to fight back to keep your weight up. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? So that's mm -hmm. what people are doing. So it's a, a diet basically is, a, is, a, is like an induced uh, sickness. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you inducing yourself into like sickness. I've never ever felt good about diets. And I remember one. <laughs> you, you, you shouldn't. <laughs> I've never. I mean, people will say, well, you don't really need one. But, well, anybody needs to watch what they eat, right? Yeah. But the That's thing what you create a lifestyle, not really a diet. A diet I, has an end to it. Every time, say, co workers used to come to me and say, oh, I'm going on a diet tomorrow. Yeah. She's 60 years old and she's going on a diet tomorrow. So I say to her, like, and this is, it happens quite often, I say to her, I don't know if you want to shock your body like yeah. that right away. Mm -hmm. You know, what you're going to cut off everything you eat tomorrow yeah. mm -hmm. and so then your body will go into a shock. Exactly. And yeah. it will try to do things yeah. pull yeah. from other areas where yeah. it's not used to um, it, and you're going to ex exhaust your body yeah. and that might actually backfire. Yeah. And when you shock your body, it's never a good thing. So yeah. I told you that goes against nature will always backfire actually. Do and it gradually. So yes. balance is really the key in everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think about a skill, the skill always needs to be like this. Nothing needs to outweigh anything else. So balance is a key of everything in life with relationship, friendship, co-workers, anything you think of, your exactly. balance needs to be there. Nothing needs to be up and nothing needs to be down. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's very important to have balance in life. And I teach that actually with nutrition, when it comes to nutrition. So with balance, with that being said, uh, when you come to me, you are allowed to have cookies. You are mm -hmm. allowed to have pizza, but I tell you exactly the amount of calories in that pizza i tell you how much cookies you can have in a week I well think. that sounds good it does <laughs> I love sound pizza. good because the reason why if we're having like the diet that your friend is following it's a diet where she feels like she's restrained where she's forced to not yeah. eat anything and, and then any, you go miserable too that's what happens your because, emotions get because your left level drops down <laughs> that's exactly what happens so um you're restrained you feel like you can't eat anything so you feel like you're in jail what happens to people in jail they always want to try to escape Mm -hmm. Right. So mm -hmm. the more you're trying to escape, the more you're gonna give into your to to things that you actually like. So if you like bread, what why can't you eat bread and still I love lose bread. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. There's many ways to still eat bread. There's many ways to eat rice. And if you think about Asian people, they eat rice. They're not fat. Right. No, they're not. Do you know, but what you I know mean? why? Because yeah. they do a lot of spiritual work and they do a lot of balancing. Yeah. A lot of the the yogas and the tai yeah. chi's and yes. qigongs and. Yeah. I mean, not all of them. Yeah. I don't want to be stereotypical, yeah. but but it is something that is prevalent in, in the society. There's many right? factors, so we mm -hmm. cannot look at one item or one food and say that's the reason why somebody got fat. Doesn't make any sense exactly. at all. Uh, whatever, based on the food uh, uh, caloric intake of, uh, I mean, say the nutrition uh, intake of that food, you're not going to get more than that serving. So if I, if it tells you one cup is 200 calories. 200 calories has never gotten anybody fat. Mm -hmm. In order for you to put on a pound of fat, you need to eat about 3,500 calories. That's one pound of fat. Nobody does that on a single, on, a, on an everyday basis. And you eating even three donuts doesn't get you 3,000 pounds of calories. Mm -hmm. So if we're saying you're in a deficit, <laughs> Yeah, if I'm, there's a lot of numbers, right? So I can go all day about that. But like, if we're talking about you being in a deficit and your deficit is 2,200 calories a day, you can include rice. You can include quinoa. You can include many things you would call quote unquote bad for you. Yeah. But the balance is, where eighty percent of your food, of your nutrients should be nutrient dense, and then twenty percent should be your fun food. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that makes the hundred. With that being said, you're still able to get to your goals and not feel like you're in a trap. 
Yeah. You get what I yeah. mean? Yeah. All these people cut off everything. I'm not gonna have bread. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna have this. I'm not gonna. I'm and not then you see them weak, mopping around. They lose, you know? the, they lose yeah. the weight. They lose the weight quickly. Mm -hmm. But what happens a week later when that diet is done? What happens when that 21 diet is? They, uh, seven days diet. Uh, ten days water only diet. So you all those rebound. Instagram challenges, it's bullshit. challenge to do this, challenge it's to do that. It's not healthy for you at all. It might, you know, it might kind of motivate you to start a change, it's, it's but it's not good to follow. In the long run, it's not yeah. good for you. In yeah. terms of your of your metabolic rate, every time you actually diet, you slow down your metabolic rate. And that's the reason why a lot of people are fat today, because they've done all these aggressive diets. The more aggressive your diets are, the more you're going to mess up your metabolic rate. So the slower your metabolic rate is, the harder for you it is for you to lose weight, because now your body has adapted to that calorie intake so now you're trying to basically lose weight at uh, 1200 calories your body is used to that so you have to go to a thousand doesn't make any sense oh. so you go to a thousand you're literally not eating anything you eat like two yeah. chocolate bars of uh, mars are 250 to 280 calories so we're talking about four chocolate bars a day <laughs> yeah that's not enough food you know yeah. what i mean but that's yeah. just high sugar and everything you don't want to do that but just think of it so with that being said sometimes i have people that come to me with that issue where their metabolic rate is really slow and messed up and i have to basically reverse that mm -hmm. and that's what mm -hmm. we call reverse dieting so i actually have to give them more calories so wow so, so see you you go so deep into the client yeah. uh, the whole blueprint only of the, the ones that are serious <laughs> the ones that are serious yeah. about it yeah. right but yeah. how you know how many trainers will actually do that well where they will reverse the damage that yes. you have caused yes exactly by by putting together this system that yeah. has numbers and yeah. <laughs> ingredients yeah. and and, uh, yeah. and correlations of these yes. ingredients yeah. and how they interact. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of techniques behind it. And wow, I, I really uh, there's a I, formula to it for everybody, <laughs> and everyone has a different formula. And sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to find someone's formula, but it, I do find it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I, if you're I, very I patient with me, actually, you'll you'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. So even if I was to show you some messages of clients like thanking me and telling me I'm this, that, that, based on what they've seen that I've done with them, you know what I mean? Where mm -hmm. they've been with other trainers and nothing has happened. Because most people just train, you just have you jumping around. I'll tell you, eat healthy. But eating healthy is so vague. Like you're telling someone to eat healthy, they'll tell you, okay, I had oatmeal this morning, a banana, and blueberries. Sounds so healthy, but that's carbs, carbs, carbs. That's three different kinds of carbs. Your fruits are carbs. Uh, your so banana your is carbs. Are carbs. It's carbs. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's carbs and sugar. It's fruits. It's carbs and sugar. Your oatmeal is carbs. See how uneducated. There's, no, pepper, there's <laughs> no protein in there. There's higher fiber, which is cool, but where's your protein? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. make any sense. And also, where's your fats? So you're not getting your fats. You need your fats. Mm -hmm. like, your body offers. So you need your fats. Your, your yeah. fats is important for your body. All right. Okay. Very important. See, Actually, and, and, the and lower your fat, your fat is the more your body is prone to getting sick. So you can easily get a cold. You can easily catch diseases because your fat levels are too low. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So when someone diets and is very like, oh, I have a 7% body fat, 5%, cool, but you're very prone to getting sick easily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I do see people getting sick that actually, you know, well, my family will say this to me all the time because I actually tell them, oh, you need to eat healthy, you need to eat yeah. this, don't eat that. Yeah. And then they say, well, that person over there, they were eating perfectly, and look, they got sick. Yeah, or, of you course. Know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so no, they're like, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be really caring about them. That's how they, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot so, of people live until they're 90, 100 years old drinking Coca-Cola. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, people say, oh, there's aspartame and stuff like that. And that, that's that. No, it, nothing is deadly for you. Everything, it comes down to, to the amount that you're intaking. The amount. So, you know, the, the mm -hmm. dosage is the poison. And that's with anything in life. Your water can kill you. Yeah. So your water can kill you. And people won't believe me, your water can kill you. Uh, almonds has never killed anybody, but there's cyanide in almonds. So that's a chemical that's actually very deadly for the human body. But you don't intake enough almonds to reach that level, which is called the LD50. So what there's about a, now with people drinking almond milk, though? Would that be something uh, you should there's, there's nothing wrong with almond milk. Actually, it's garbage because you only get in 15% of almonds. The rest is just water and garbage. Oh, you're yeah, kidding. So you're probably wow. better off making your own almond milk yourself. But it's mostly water and 15% almonds. So what is the rest? Think about it. I have no idea. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yeah. So I tell that to people a lot. Yeah. So I did. I did my research on almond milk myself, and it's just garbage. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, um, well, that brings me to because from my psychological and sociological perspective, mm -hmm. especially what I've learned recently in in university, we we talked so much about advertising and the effects of the popular culture and the popular media. Yeah. 
of influencing so many yeah. people to to actually harm themselves because they're yeah. they're advertising fat is horrible yes. but you say you need some fat they're advertising oh, yeah, yeah. that carbs are horrible yeah, but, but you need it you actually, actually need some carbs yeah. So <laughs> need work hard. yeah and the reason why snickers has this commercial saying or you're not yourself when you're hungry is because you've been depleted from carbohydrates. So the more you deplete yourself from carbohydrates, uh, you start losing your 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 patience. Uh, you start getting headaches. Uh, uh, women start sometimes uh, lose their their, their um, sexual drive. Not even sexual drive, but I would say uh, their their period. Oh. So if someone that's been on a low carb diet for like this is six seven months can lose the the uh -huh. samples. So easily. what about because a lot of people started going with this gluten free f phenomenon. Yeah, right? which is garbage too. Because, <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, I say anything that goes massive and like yeah, anything explodes, that's extreme. Like, yeah, yeah. Right just, away, it's, it's marketing have scheme. Questions about that. Yeah, it's marketing scheme, and you know, the, the, before even the whole gluten thing came out, nobody cared about it, and as no. soon as it came out, people were like, okay. I think society is always looking to be fit into a kind of group of something. Mm -hmm. Like I, I am vegan. I'm this. That's fine. But are you actually vegan? And why are you a vegan? Do you understand why you're a vegan or why are you gluten free and whatever? But in order for you to even have uh, that sensitivity of a uh, of a uh, uh, wheat, which is being gluten free, you would have celiac disease. And there's only one percent of people in the whole entire world that have celiac disease. Like a legit like yeah. celiac disease, yeah. you know what I mean. So celiac disease affects one percent of people in the world. So who are all these people that are saying they need to eat gluten free food? Right. You know right. what I mean. Now I use gluten free uh, 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 ingredients or food for my clients, but I know the reason why. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it holds on to less water. Mm -hmm. So that being said, if it holds on to less water, my clients are less bloated and appear to look actually tighter and smaller. Wait, so repeat that again? So gluten itself, like having carbohydrates, any food with carbohydrates holds on to more water, binds to water. So carbohydrates you eating more carbohydrates less, less makes gluten. you... Yeah, go ahead. Makes you hold on, like store more water. The, yeah, exactly. But depending on how you do it, right? If you drink more water, you, you release more water. So the reason why a lot of people sometimes are look puffy or fat is actually water retention it's not just fat right you know what I mean so the more water you, you take the more your brain receptors receive that message and the more they'll release the water and that's the reason why sometimes you pee your, your pee is more light that water color the less you actually drink water your pee is going to be very yellow which is which means that the acidic, the acidic level is higher the pH level of that pee is higher mm -hmm. so you need to drink more water um, so more water you drink more water you release now with the carbohydrates, they hold on to more water. Gluten-free food doesn't have the same. Uh, um, uh, it what doesn't is it? retention of water. Yeah, it doesn't retain water as much as regular carbs. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. That's the only reason why I use it with my clients. I don't use it because I think that uh, wheat is bad. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. So I know why I'm using it. Some people don't know. They just buy Very it because. Very intelligent. It's, you know what I mean? So there's there's ways around many many things. There's so many tips that I can give to people. But You've just written a book here for people pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been so, told I should write things, but I just don't do it. You know, I'm so caught up with my clients and myself. You, yeah, you but I also definitely. feel like it's you know this information is only for people that actually want to listen. I know. So sometimes. whoever lasted this long, this video is really going to benefit, and I really encourage you to rewind it, make some notes if you are interested in losing weight or yeah. strengthening yourself, balancing your body. Yeah. Uh, because he's got a wealth of knowledge and and. Ex so tell everybody where they can find you and how they can get in touch with you. Right here.